It's I, Bombless, also known as Tetris Blast. Whatever you know it as, that's what we're covering today. Bulletproof Software put out a Famicom version of Tetris back in 1988 that was a major hit in Japan. They followed it up with a sequel in 1991 known as Tetris 2 plus Bombless. It includes the standard Tetris that everybody's familiar with, dropping four section blocks in a matrix and clearing horizontal lines, increasing the speed as you do so. But it also includes Bombless, which puts a fun spin on Alexei Pajinov's landmark puzzle game. Did you just make a pun? What do you mean? Oh, never mind. Bombless works a bit differently than regular Tetris. Rather than trying to clear as many lines as you can without filling up to the top, you go through individual stages of clearing out the matrix with, you guessed it, bombs. The pieces you drop have bombs that are triggered by filled lines. The size of the explosion depends on how many lines you fill when you trigger the bomb, and said explosion can trigger other bombs in a chain reaction. There are also larger bombs that create enormous explosions that prove to be the most useful. In fact, you can create new large bombs by connecting four regular bombs together in a square formation. This is pretty much the key to your victory. What's interesting about Bombless is that you're not just limited to four-section Tetraminos, you also have five-section Pentaminos, akin to the original Soviet puzzle that inspired Tetris, three-section Trominos, and two-section Dominos. Not to be confused with the Dominos that we're all familiar with. Man, I miss Domino Rally. The Pentaminos do make the stages more troublesome than they're worth, though. And they got removed from subsequent versions of Bombless, such as Tetris Blast on the Game Boy. This was the first version of Bombless to be released outside of Japan, complete with a rather disturbing TV commercial. We never even saw it coming. Where'd everybody go? Dude, I hope that roach turned out okay. Yeah. Bombless would show up in a few other Tetris games down the line. One such game would be Tetris Party Deluxe in 2010, developed by Hudson. Uh, he said it. In fact, there's even a cameo of me in the game Shadow Mode, though that's unrelated. Wait, how come you haven't mentioned Panic Bomber yet? I don't know, how come you haven't mentioned Pack Attack? Touché. While it sacrifices some of the simplicity of the original Tetris, Bombless is still a fascinating take on such a beloved game and can be quite fun in its own right. I say give it a shot however you can. You just might like it. Also, play Pack Attack. Or Cosmo Gang the Puzzle. Whichever you choose, it's on the Switch.